in this section we'll focus on the lab setup in the lab setup options whether it is a physical setup or the virtual setup so first thing there are three different options we can use for the lab setup the first one is like uh, going with a physical dedicated uh, setup which is quite expensive especially at the at the level of student level practicing the options I'll, I'll go through with the overview of this physical lab setup uh, probably you need to have some dedicated uh, Cisco routers and the ASA firewalls and you can set up set up your own lab but again there are some alternatives where you can use some of the simulation tools and these simulation tools you can simulate the routers uh, some switches switch images as well as the ASA firewalls so mostly I, I do prefer using the simulations there are different options available like a Cisco packet tracer options so if you actually visit the website of a specific packet tracer website like in the in the slides I, I got the links here you can see the Cisco packet tracer network.com now again this is a very good application especially at the CCNA level so I can say at CCNA routing switching level and some some level of CCNP routing switching it's a it's a good option but mostly at the switching level not in the routers because most of the advanced routing options do, doesn't support in this and again there is a version of 6.2 which supports ASA firewalls you can simulate and you can simulate some other other options as well and as as per the current version you can see there is a 7.1 version which is the uh, current version for our release 7.1 I think you can see the 7.1 the updated one which supports some of the wireless LAN controllers and some access points uh, with some firewall capabilities but mostly I do prefer this at the CCNA routing switching level but if you're going with some advanced options uh, it's really not uh, recommended so probably if you want to do some basic routing labs or the basic ASL labs it's, it's a good option probably uh, which uses a lot of less resources and 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 you can drag and drop the devices and manage it alternative for Cisco packet tracer you got something like boson netsim uh, which is again a licensed one uh, again similar to packet tracer not uh, doesn't support more advanced options good at CCNA CCNP routing switching level because mostly you can uh, practice most of the CCNA level labs and some level of CCNP routing switching uh, but again uh, for most of the advanced options it's really not uh, preferable so if you are thinking about advanced options like NP or IE level, probably at the expert level, there are some alternatives like GNS3, which, which has been uh, for a long time, a graphic network simulator, which I'll be using for most of my labs. Uh, and, and now again, there are some other options like VIRL, Virtual Internet Routing Lab. And then there is something called EVE, uh, Emulating Virtual Environment. So these are the alternatives for GNS3. Again, GNS3, I'll talk about more on this uh, in the next video. But so mostly I'll be using GNS3 options. Uh, apart from that, we have something like uh, Virtual Internet Routing Lab. This is uh, from, from Cisco. Actually, it's like a virtual program uh, where you need to get a license for something around. Uh, you, you get some license for $199 or depends. You, it's, a, it's a good option, uh, specifically if you can go for the license options where you can uh, simulate most of the IOS or IOS devices like uh, these are the actual virtual images from Cisco and download from Cisco and then you can simulate XR routers for simulating service product routers specifically X iOS XE or ASA V or even some some to some extent Nexus and other options but again the drawback it, it requires a little bit high-end server uh, probably you need to you need to set up and server with some good configuration probably uh, and also you need to get a license for this so it's not a free source so probably you need to get some license uh, for this one so I do recommend you to go through with these options but 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 practically I, I never used it and I, and I don't really prefer this option because I have been using Genesis 3 for, for more than 10 years since since it was in a command line so I'm a little bit more uh, uh, I mean, it's like easy for me to go with GNS3, uh, even though there are some few limitations into that. So you, you will see more options like uh, probably there is something called emulated virtual environment, uh, which is like 
again uh, you you can download the image in the in the vmware and you can run these images these are the ios routers or IO, ios over your linux probably if you have these images you can also simulate some additional devices so most of this also supports on dns3 but again you need to figure out which product or the which device you want to simulate and you need to figure out the ways how to do that because at, in this course probably uh, mostly i'll be i'll be showing you how to simulate the ios and the asav images inside the gns3 but you have a couple of multiple options available in general which, which you can use for simulating the labs so if you are thinking about advancing your skills to uh, np level or expert level probably gns3 one of the best option and the equivalents are, are these options alternative options which you can also use and finally there is something called rack rentals uh, again rack rentals are more uh, preferable like like when i'm doing my cci studies for routing switching or service borders even the next courses probably uh, i'll be using most of the simulation tools which i can simulate like 70 to 80 percent or maybe sometimes 90 percent of the things can be tested but let's say you want to test uh, typically some some features which are not uh, available in the simulation tools probably you you probably go with either a physical rack if it is available like let's say you do have some you work for a company where you have some additional uh, devices in the storeroom and probably you can use them for testing purpose you can either use that way that's how I, I did or else you can probably go and search online for track rentals you'll find plenty of vendors probably uh, available on the internet so if you just search for the keywords like CCI rack rentals or Cisco rack rentals, you'll find different vendors offering the rack rental options. So just see how they exactly uh, the services, check the reviews and probably you can book some online rack rentals as well. But mostly that is like a last option. Uh, I recommend if there is something you want to test it out, but you are unable to, or there is no alternative in the simulation tools, probably this is something, uh, the option in the last.